Hey guys, Cody Lopez here with Texcellent News and today we have the new Google Chromecast. This is the update to one of the most popular media streaming devices, so let's take a quick look to see what we get. The Google Chromecast is unlike the traditional set-top box media streamers like the Roku or Apple TV. It is definitely a more interesting way to stream media via the internet to your TV. Compared to the Roku or Apple TV, the Google Chromecast does not have a set-top box or even a remote. It simply uses your mobile device like a phone or tablet to access the content streaming through the Chromecast, essentially turning any ordinary TV into a smart TV. This allows Google Chromecast to be compact, lightweight, and a little more free to be moved from one TV to another compared to your standard set-top boxes. Not to mention, less expensive. Alright, so what we have here is the follow-up to Google's original dongle-like Chromecast that was released in 2013. As you can see, the design has been changed, plus we get a variety of colors. We have the black Chromecast here, but there is also a red and yellow option. Color choice should not be a big concern because these get hidden behind your TV anyway. As for the updated design, you can see we now have a HDMI with a cable ribbon connected to a hockey puck-like Chromecast here. This was modified to not only have better access to your HDMI ports, but also to add additional network improvements. The new Chromecast adds support for 5 GHz Wi-Fi, 802.11ac support combined with multiple antennas to increase connectivity and range. And hey, if that just sounds like a bunch of random numbers to you, all you need to know is that if you have connectivity or buffering issues with your previous model, this one could help you with that. Setup is still a breeze. Simply plug in a micro USB cable for power with the included wall adapter, or like us, you could use a shorter micro USB cable and place it into your USB port on your TV. This is a cleaner, more ideal way of installing it. Next, plug in the HDMI into the HDMI port on the TV. The Chromecast can stick to the plug via the magnet or can dangle free. To use your new Chromecast, you will need a Wi-Fi internet connection and either a phone or tablet with a Chromecast app installed. We are using an Android device, but you can also use an iPhone or iPad. The newly improved Chromecast app walks you through a short setup process to log into your Wi-Fi. This can be used on the new and older model of Chromecast as well. This updated app also informs the user of the variety of content on your device that can be cast to your TV, and more importantly provides the user additional ideas of content that you can install to cast like games. You can even mirror your device screen onto your TV, cast music like Spotify, and it's even great for cord cutters using Sling TV or Hulu. Now I know what question a lot of you will ask, and that is, if I have the old Chromecast, should I get the new one? And my answer to that is yes and no. Now the reason I say that is because it really depends on your experience with your current one. Are you having connectivity issues, lag issues, or buffering issues? If so, then yes, buy the new one. But if you don't have these issues, then I really don't see a reason for you to go out and buy the new one, especially since you are able to use the new and improved Chromecast application on the older model. But hey, honestly, for only $35, you could buy the new one and give your old one to someone that would like to refresh their ordinary TV into a smart TV. And you know what? They'll love you for it because these really do make a great gift and with the holiday season around the corner you can get a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Alright guys that about covers it. Google's Chromecast continues to provide an easier way for you to stream the media from your mobile device to your big screen and for $35 you can't really beat it. For more tech coverage visit our website at techcellentnews.com Follow our social medias with the links in the video description below. And be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for more tech infotainment. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Texelin News, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You know, watch Netflix and chill. Oh, you don't have a smart TV? Well, I got just the thing for that.